I recognize the Honourable Member for Peterborough Kawartha. There's two, about two minutes to go in the. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. And thank you to my Honourable Colleague, and thank you um, for an opportunity to speak to the seniors in my riding of Peterborough Kawartha. I think every member in this House knows how important our seniors are. Every member in this House hears from these seniors regularly. And, you know, as we've heard from many members uh, this evening, this motion, it's important, but there's a lot of concern on action. And, you know, conversation is really important. Bringing awareness uh, is important. One of my favorite sayings is education equals awareness equals change. Uh, but to my colleague uh, from Hastings Lennox, Lennox Addington has said, we do need action. I want to I want to just take this opportunity, if I can, to read a, a couple messages from my constituents, as it is my job as an MP to uh, to advocate on their behalf. Michelle, I hope that's okay. I'm not politically in the wave. Wasn't sure if he was allowed to call me Michelle. Is there any way that our existing governments can help seniors with their expenses? I moved here to Millbrook, Ontario, which is uh, my colleague from Halliburton, Kawartha Lakes, Brock's riding from Toronto many years ago just to get away from the city. After 15 plus years, my company pension is running out. Now, with an annual income ready to drop well below 16,000, I'm in a bind, to say the least. Rent, hydro, gas, Nexacom, which is internet and very expensive for basic cable internet and landline. I don't have a cell phone and could not afford one to begin with. I have to give up my Legion membership and their lottery pool. That one makes me very sad. Being handicapped, my personal care worker costs are over $1,000 a year. Food land prices are through the roof, $2 for one potato, $3 for one tomato, etc. I'm not asking for any handouts in any way, but turning 75 next month, I am in trouble to say the least. I love the village, but multiple housing developments, we only have one bank machine. I'm not complaining to you, I just have to vent. Thank you very much for reading my concerns. Uh, this is a constituent Bob. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to read um, one of the constituents' letters. There are many, hundreds more like that, who truly are struggling, who truly can't afford to make ends meet. And it is our job, every single member in this House, to stand up for seniors. Thank you, Mr.